Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial. And today I wanna to talk about something that probably every audio production specialist will encounter in their professional lives. And that is cleaning up a dialogue take that has a cell phone ringing in the background. And to express my incredible disdain for this occurrence, uh, I've made this sample for you. Check it out. I don't know about you guys, but one of the most annoying things in the entire world is when it's someone's freaking phone goes off. So there you have it. And yes, it's unfortunate that sometimes we just have to clean up someone else's irresponsibility, but alas, I have a tool for you that I think will help in this exact situation. First thing you're going to want to do is double click on your audio clip here. This will bring up the editor. And you'll notice here that uh, we're gonna be doing this tutorial here in the spectral frequency display. And the reason is because if we zoom in here on the part where the beeping is happening, right here, it's really easy to see those pulses displayed here in, in this format. And if we go up here and click on the spot healing brush or the, use the shortcut B as in boy, that's annoying when people have their cell phones on, uh, we can easily start to paint these blips out and Audition will do its magic. Let's take care of this one over here, but I'm gonna focus in more to try and isolate just that frequency. I'm using the left and right brackets to adjust the size of the brush. You can always come up here and uh, just drag and adjust the brush size to something that you like as well. 15 I think is gonna work for this application. So I'm just gonna start painting out these frequencies here. Great, let's see how this sounds now. Is when it's someone's freaking phone goes off. Yeah, that's better. Old is when so you can see this is a really powerful tool and there's a lot that you can do with this. You can also overdo it if you're not careful. So you really need to just kind of do a little bit here and there. Playback world is when it's someone's freaking phone goes off. And that is totally a usable take. There's a little bit still in there. It's not going to be perfect, but if that was your only take, on that particular line or scene, and you just had to use it for whatever reason, I would definitely use this technique to repair it as much as possible. You could probably even go into your effects rack and try to EQ that frequency out a little more. With a little more work, you could have a pretty darn clean take of dialogue there. So I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments about anything that I've covered here, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know you like it. And if you wanna see more audio post-production tutorials in the future, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and it would really mean a lot to me. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard, and thanks for stopping by.